You're not going to see that. Thank you for visiting my aquarium. I hope you enjoy your permanent stay. Whoa, whoa, dude, no! Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Hey, just send a waiver, man. At best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. It was our desire to make a film that feels more like the early Saw movies. This, in, in our mind, is really Saw 2. This movie happens weeks after the end of Saw 1. I help people overcome inner obstacles. It needed to look like the early song. They were shot on 35. They were scuzzy and gritty. They're, you know, there's arsenical greens and ochre yellows. We're working with a cinematographer here uh, who has just done a fabulous job. One of the great challenges of this project was really putting together an excellent trap team. And I feel like we have this amazing team. Uh, uh, and I think that the fans are gonna be happy. No! All the people that really love Saw. I want to play a game. My job is to bring humanity to John Kramer. The traps I leave to the people who are disturbed enough to come, to come up with some of these things. And we go back to what I think the audience most enjoys about John Kramer's character. I wage war. I wage war against mediocrity. What struck me was the relationship between John and uh, Amanda. I think that's some of the best passages or scenes. Everyone deserves a chance. You should know that more than anyone. It's super fun to be able to come all the way back to the beginning. We really did this movie for the fans. The story is compelling, and the Saw fans, next level. We really tried to pay them back for the loyalty and the fans that have been there since Saw 1. And that's why there's the Easter eggs, there's throwbacks to other. We just really tried to say, you've asked for this movie, we're making this for you.